Hey everybody, this is my contest entry for the 40k Orcs first official contest and the theme is the Unlucky Orc and um, if you haven't been over to his page yet, check it out. He gives lots of great advice and is talking about Orc section, lots of cool battle reports and stuff and just a really great resource for any 40k Orc players out there. And um, I really like especially what he's doing now with the uh, going through the codexes for the Tyranids and the Space Wolves to kind of help other aspiring Orc players to hold their own against them. But this is my entry for the official contest. It's an APOC formation. It's one of three trucks. Uh, I have two other trucks that I would just be running as regular, but this is going to be the one that kind of represents the formation. And the formation is the Ludo Wrecking Crew, which is a truck with Ludas and a mech inside that just drive around the battlefield trying to wreck as much as they can in a big uh, cloud of dust and mayhem. So I've got paint all over my fingers. So it's a Death Skull truck. According to the fluff of my army, my freebooting army, I r randomly rolled to see how I would build and paint each component. So I rolled Death Skulls for the truck, which is uh, pretty cool because I haven't done a Death Skulls big vehicle thing yet. And I rolled a snake bite for this Luda guy, and for the unlucky orc falling off of the truck, I rolled evil suns. So I tried to paint them up according to their different clans, with um, you know different. I tried to even put them together, like how their different clans would look. So uh, the truck is painted blue. It's got a looted evil suns engine that's been conveniently painted blue to represent that the Death Skulls legally own it. All the trucks in the formation have to have the Wrecking Balls. And um, what other things do I have on here? Uh, I made the truck open bed instead of having the having the walls on it. I wanted to have the full complement of four Ludas and the mech on it, on the bed, but it just it got to be too crowded. So I decided to just go with these two because then you can see, you know, all the little different plates on the back here, how they looted even from other orcs, these uh, Bad Moon, Evil Suns plates, this Ultramarines tank plate, and um, I think that's about it. I green stuffed the banana peel to give it that comic orky look, and uh, I think the one of the hardest things was keeping the truck at a position where the super glue would set for the guy's feet to connect to um, this section because uh, it was too skinny to, to rod, to put a pin uh, into it, to drill a hole and put a pin into it. And um, I don't have any magnets that I could conceivably use, but I think it's a much funnier pose. The head I used for him was a uh, top knotted, it's the orc with hair head, but I hate those. I, I just don't think orcs should have spontaneous growths of hair on the top of their head when, you know, the others don't. I think that's just kind of silly. So I chopped it off, but he's got this great screaming face that you can't really see with my poor quality camera. But it looks like he's really saying, Ah, uh, I'm falling, banana peel. Who was eating bananas in the back of the truck going 90 miles an hour with no sides on the bed? I don't know. It was probably this guy, the snake bite, because they're tribal and they like to eat wild fruits and berries. I also gave him the awesome um, machine gun shells, or shooter shells, flying out of his Daka gun, and um, I used these, I decided to use these two Daka models because I really like the way they they looked. I think they're, the Luda models are just so, you know, underappreciated, and you can't see it with this horrible camera, but this gun actually has a, an Imperial Guard, I don't know if it's a LAS rifle or a, or some kind of, some, something, because it's got the Imperial Eagle, half of it, obscured and just strapped into the rest of this big contraption looking thing and it's it's so funny that you know you don't notice those things because you think they all they're all the same but there's so much individual character to each of these uh looted guns i'm really glad i picked up the set but yeah this is my entry it's my uh apoc apocalypse entry uh it's it's kind of scratch built um and it's totally converted i didn't start till january 3rd and um I'm just trying to get this video in place because I know that the contest ends at midnight, so so let's go, Cinderella. Alright, that's it.